Hello, this is me, Juan, and I'm going to show you how to fix um, your Samsung Galaxy Tab A 8.4 from 2020. Now, this device was actually locked, but I already uh, flashed the firmware, so you can see everything works perfectly. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to power off the machine. Okay. Next you're going to have to press all three buttons now since I'm using just one hand I'm just going to press it down like this because all three buttons will be pressed there you go yeah, here it says a custom OS can cause critical problems you're going to hit the volume up button oh I hit the volume down button didn't I? there you go and now it says downloading and now we plug it in to our PC or you can already have it plugged into your PC um, and let's do it Alright, so here is the website where we're going to download the firmware very quickly. So here is the device we are going to work on. As you can see, the uh, model numbers have to match. And we're going to scroll down here. And here we have all of these files that we can download. Um, as you can see, the ones we're going to look for is Verizon. These are T-Mobile and Sprint. Obviously, it depends on what uh, tab tablet you have or what device you have. But we're going to go to Verizon, okay, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the, the latest one. Usually tablets need the latest Android version because if you put an older one, they for some reason do not work. Um, Samsung has this real, weird security, which is actually kind of cool. But, yeah, and you're just going to click it. And we're going to, I'm not a robot, and then hit the download button. And this thing, this little box is going to show up. You're going to have to wait for a little button to appear. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. It takes a while. But after this, I'll show you how to get the patched Odin, where to find it. There, get file. And as you can see down here, it has started downloading. It's going to take a while because it's a 4 gigabyte almost got file. We're going to hit cancel because I already downloaded it. I already have it. Now I'm going to show you how to get Odin. So here um, I opened this page. Odin patched version 3.14.1. And yeah, it fixes Odin protocol issues because I was having issues using the original program. So I downloaded this one and it definitely worked. And you're going to hit this little button right here. Download from here. It's going to take a little bit. And we're going to wait. There you go. You get uh, thrown over here to Mega, and then just hit the download button. And you can see a RAR will appear. You will have to have a specific um, program you can download, of course, WinRAR, which is a uh, something you can find online it's free to use WinRAR you just download that and that's how you can open that file or if you have another program and that is about it now I'm going to show you how to use Odin all right so let's get to it so here you have the Odin program um, I'm gonna leave the links all in the description of the video so you can just click them and go download them so here's Odin this is a special patched version that will not will work the other one does not work and here we have the files. I already see I extracted it. This um, the extraction makes it easier for you to download it, and then you just extract it to your computer, and it opens it. And here it is. All right. To oh now it's pretty easy, straightforward. From here, you would plug in your device. You go to options, and we're going to do NAND erase because um, if your device is locked from you know an organization, let's say a, a business, a school, whatever, it's a rental, you need to remove that. So next, we're going to go to BL. We're going to do that, and it's going to take a little bit. AP is the one that takes the most, actually, So because it's like the biggest file. And this is pretty much the, the firmware of the device, so everything that the device uses, this is what it is, okay? So if you unplug the device during the process when you hit the start button, and it, you might damage it, and it might is being a little nice. You actually might break it, and it will stop working. So you definitely have to be a little careful. But um, yeah, we're gonna wait. It takes a little bit. CP, and you're gonna have to match them. It's really easy. It just tells you right there which one it is. 
Uh, and CSC. Uh, there's two. You want to do the one that just says CSC because this one, um, I think, like saves your settings or something. We don't want that because obviously, you know, this, yeah, it's just not what we want. We just want that normal one. Boom. And there it is. User data, we're not going to do that. So we're just going to leave that like that because there's nothing we really want to. But, you know, and yeah, you would plug in your device and it would say device added. Um, it might take a while because the drivers might not be on your computer. Um, and then you just hit the start button and you will see this start up. And that's pretty much about it. Um, if you need help, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later.